Now I sold and managed in the computer industry for about 15 years before I started this business in 1988. And things have changed in the sales process. To be an effective top producer today, it's not so much about selling, but it's about being a leader. People want someone to lead them through the process of acquisition. We were able to take seven traits of effective leaders and port it over to the sales team. So vision, would you all agree with me that you have to have a vision, you have to know where you're going in order to get there. Is that a fair statement? Do you ever get on a plane and you ask the pilot to where we're going? And if he said, I have no clue, what would you do? Would you stay on that plane? No, the pilot says, hey, we're going to Miami. He's got on this chart, then he works his way back to figure out where he's got to go to get there, right? You have to have vision. But not only do you need your vision, you need the vision of the customer. Because the way you sell value is aligning the two visions together. Help people get to where they want to be, you in turn will get more than you ever thought was possible. Ron Carr is an expert in helping organizations increase market share, sales, and profits. Ron is a thought leader who, through innovative and cutting-edge strategies, has helped organizations generate over half a billion dollars in increased sales revenue. That's why top CEOs have endorsed his newest book, Lead, Sell, or Get Out of the Way. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm asking you to do is to stop leading with products and services. The first thing out of your mouths in a conversation should not be about your products and services. That's when you commoditize yourselves, and that's when you get into transactional selling. But if you start the conversation by elevating it to an enterprise-wide conversation about what's affecting the organization, where they're trying to go, what is the legacy that a CEO is trying to leave behind, by elevating the conversation to an enterprise conversation, you're going to uncover a whole bunch of areas that you possibly could help them with. Milton Ron Carr's engaging and interactive presentations right? have been well received by such companies as Marriott, UPS, Hertz, Morgan Stanley, and the NFL. So my client says, we need to be like Caterpillar, and I said, wrong. You need to become the next Caterpillar. They're using Caterpillar as the benchmark. We need to do something even different. Now we know that they have a man on site. So I said, what if we put a man on site? What would that mean to us? And they said, well, if we had a man on site, we can probably learn more things about how to use the product. We can probably teach them how to use it better so they use less of it and they save some money. So I said, you know what? We need to go and sell that to them. But we tried it, and eventually they said, okay, grudgingly. But as the man on site started working, he became one of them. He became so invaluable, they wanted that. So we coined it Mindsight Services. And I told my client to trademark that. When the bid came out a year later, a big part of the bid was a Mindsight Services program. And we didn't create any new product or service. It was just taking the core competencies and delivering it in a specialized way. And then we trademarked it. And the other two companies said, what's a Mindsight Services? I told you this before. And they said, well, if you don't have one, we take it away. That's how we created differentiated value. He has been featured on the CBS Morning Show, the Wall Street Journal Business Report, the BBC, Bloomberg Television, and hundreds of radio shows nationwide. So what are you selling? You're selling outcomes. You're not selling software. You're not selling systems. You're selling outcomes. His ideas and strategies have also been published in major business and trade magazines worldwide. Once clients hear Ron Carr, they continue to engage him because of the dramatic impact he's had on both their top and bottom line results. CEOs rely on Ron Carr for critical analysis and insights on how to grow their business. We had a client call me in because they're in the middle of a big negotiation. It was a $5 million deal. I said, well, first of all, when was the last time your salespeople were in their factories? They said, wow. We need to send the salespeople out, blitz the factories and see what's going on, talk to the users. And in one of the trips, a salesperson walked inside the door of the factory and tripped over a box and went flying onto the concrete floor. And the workers came running over to pick him up and, they, and he said, you know, what was that? And they said, oh, that piece of crap? That's something they're forcing us to use. 
That was the product that was supposedly qualified. When we found that out, did that change our negotiation posture? Absolutely. We got to look for the signs. In addition to lead, sell, or get out of the way, Ron is the author of the highly praised book, The Titan Principle. He's also the co-author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Great Customer Service and a contributor to Masters of Impact Negotiations. About eight years ago, I went to Jacksonville, Florida to give the speech. It took me 10 hours to get there. By the time I got up to the Omni Hotel and got out of my Hertz rental car, I basically got out of the car looking like this. Shoulders drooped like this, the true antithesis of what a motivational speaker should look like. <laughs> and out of the corner of my eye, I see this gleaming smile, you know, where the sun's just beaming off the teeth, and it's coming towards me. I'm going, please don't come near me. Please, I don't want to talk. And the next thing I know, he's hovering over me. He goes, sir, what's your name? And I'm going, car, K-A-R-R. You're Mr. Carr? Yes. <laughs> and he goes, I know. I've been waiting to meet you all day long. I said, you have? He goes, yeah. <clears throat> when I heard that Mr. Carr was coming, I said, I was going to meet that fine gentleman. And I got to tell you, I was stunned at that point. I didn't have a New Jersey comeback at that moment. <laughs> but all of a sudden, this car pulled up. And there was a really gorgeous woman in the car. And she's starting to get out. He goes, sir, excuse me. He goes, running up to her. And he goes, ma'am, what's your name? <clears throat> she goes, Mrs. Jones. You know, Mrs. Jones? Well, I've been waiting to meet you all day long. And then he turned and winked at me. And I realized, he says this to everybody. <laughs> I said, they must have known what they were doing when they put you in this most important position of being the first one to greet the guests. He said, you kidding me? My first job was in housekeeping. I said, housekeeping? He goes, yeah, can you imagine me being in a room all day long making beds by myself? But you know, the real magic came in the next conversation. I said, Phil, you're so good at what you're doing, you must be the top of your game. And that's when he locked eyes with me and he said, Mr. Carter, the truth is, I've had some great days in my life, but I've yet to have the best day of my life. Is that powerful? Would you all agree with me that as an organization you've had some really good days in your lives? But would you also agree with me that the best days as an organization as for yourselves individually is still yet to come? So my guarantee to you is if you move from that self-focus to that customer focus, if you concentrate more on the outcomes, if you start helping people get to resolution to problems they didn't even think are out there, help people get to where they want to be, you in turn will get more than you ever thought was possible. Ron Carr's strategies and insights are ideal for general session keynotes, workshops, trainings, and top-level meetings and consulting sessions. For more information on transforming your organization into a high-performing sales culture, please contact the person who provided this program.